Hey there everybody, T-Shirt Booth here for gshelper.com and uh, somebody asked in the forums today how to constrain the paddle so it doesn't leave the left and the right side of the screen and uh, I'm going to show you really quickly how to do that. It's very simple. So we're going to go into our paddle and we're going to create a rule and I'm going to say when mouse button is down constrain attribute self position x to device mouse position X and that's what most people have and you can use when uh, mouse is down or touch is pressed now I'm going to show you what happens when I hit preview you can see that the paddle will leave both sides of the screen and if you set up a wall it will still overpower and go through the wall so that's no good so we're going to hit back and I'm going to show you how to fix this so we're going to go in here and instead of saying mouse position X we're going to take that out and we're going to use the second drop down menu and we're going to hit max and I'm going to go to the first open bracket and we're going to say zero because that's the left side of the screen and then I'm going to go comma and then I'm going to go min and I'm going to go to the first open bracket and I'm going to go 320 because that's the far side of the screen comma device mouse position X close bracket now I'm going to show you what this does so now when I hit preview oh I forgot one bracket go over here one more bracket at the end preview so now you'll see it'll leave the screen but only to the half on both sides it, it won't go any farther than half of the paddle so now we just need to account for half of the paddles width and this is very simple to do so we're going to go into the zero and I'm going to go just in front of the zero and add another open bracket and then we're going to say because we want it, the left of it we're going to go plus open bracket self size width divided by two and then we're going to do two close brackets so I'm going to go ahead and preview this for you so now we've said zero plus half of the paddle so you'll see when I go here, the paddle will stop right at the edge. Go on this side, and we still lose half the paddle. So we're going to go in and do the same thing for the right side. But for this, we're going to do another open bracket in front of 320. But because it's on the, on the right-hand side, we want to go minus. And we're going to go open bracket, self, size, width, divided by 2, and then 2 close brackets. Now I'll hit preview and you'll see when I go to the left and go to the right the paddle will stay at right at the edge it won't go through the sides we didn't need to add walls um, we did this all with math it's very um, it's very easy on the system and it works every time and um, head on over to gshelper.com look for this video and underneath you'll be able to download this project file so you can actually see the math that was used and play with it and tweak it up yourself and um, I'll see you guys in the next video